Fly Fishing with the Guides, featuring Steve Henderson. Fishing out in the island of Roatan. We're out with our guide today, uh, Tai Tai. And uh, hopefully we've got shots at some permit bones. We've got a fish in a small flat here. Seen some uh, big permit on this flat uh, a couple of days ago. Tide's uh, right at the moment, so hopefully there are some permit up here. Fishing with my buddy Maynard. Hopefully one of us will hook up. Let's see. I'm retying my uh, my crab on. I changed uh, tippets. Noticed that I had a little bit of a nick or two in my in my tippet section, and with this coral out here, it's pretty easy to get a cut into the, your uh, into your tippet. Never know when that's uh, when you're going to need uh, your full tippet strength, so it's always a good idea to change it and tip it. Change it, check it, make sure everything's good. Just walked onto the flat, we saw a couple of nice bones tailing. Hooked up. Good job, man. Good job. Tie tie, you did the job, man. <laughs> that is a hard pulling fish right there. Nice. Beautiful bone. Nice bone fish. What do you think? Two and a half, three pounds? Three pounds? Three pounds? Very nice. Thank you, Tai Tai. That was fun. That was good. There's a school of about eight or ten of them. And they were just kind of slowly coming in. They must have followed the uh, crab for 20 feet, 30 yeah. feet. Landed at about 10 feet in front and ate a crab pattern that I tied up in yeah. Steamboat Springs, Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> With the sun beginning to get low in the sky, Miguel took us to one of his favorite flats in front of his hometown to see if we couldn't make some magic happen late in the day.
nice. We just got done snorkeling on a reef and weren't even planning on coming out. Miguel had the afternoon off, so we decided to come down here to his hometown. Since this is his hometown, he knows this water well. And one cast, one bonefish.